Yo, what's good guys? It's your boy Frank from Frank.com. Today I just want to um, make a video and just share my experience. Um, for those of you that don't know, I was actually, I've been making music since I was 13 years old. Actually, I was actually 13 years old. That's how I got the um, the name 13. So um, the, the day I met Marcus Houston, it was in 2008. I think it was uh, March, April. Okay. He was over here doing a tour. I think he was touring in the UK. Um, he came over and at the time, my, my older brother C, shout out C, C1, um, he was uh, an artist, he was signed, he had a management, X, Y, Z, and they wanted to work with Marcus Houston. So the people that bought over, bring over UK, American artists to the UK, um, they also brought, or they also managed um, my brother. So they reached out to Marcus Houston after the show and said, you know what, come to the studio, came to the studio. Um, I remember we was playing some beats um, so that when he came we had something to vocal and um, we ended up choosing a beat uh, beat by Music Kids, shout out Music Kids. Um, so they came, Marcus used to came and I think he came in with two uh, bodyguard, like a, a black guy bodyguard kind of big. He came in anyway, like he, the, the one thing that I love how he came in and um, because cause I was in awe, I was starstruck like I rarely get starstruck, but I was like Marcus Houston growing up from sister sister, you know, immature house party. Like he was, he's that guy, R and B guy, and he at the time he was still flooding music, so it was a lot. So I was impressed. I was obviously thinking, shit, Marcus Houston's coming through. Anyway, he came through, and he came through with bodyguard. He came in, but what I always remember that will never leave me is his 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 attack. Meaning he came through. Was like, yo, what's good? Like he was like saying to us yo was good xyz but then he wanted to hear the beat he kind of wanted to get to work he was there to work like as in time is money and he didn't stay very long altogether for the session he was probably there maybe about two hours he came in said yo was good um and then we played him the beat he liked it he said load me up and i was like what load you up he's like load me up i'm gonna go in the booth and at this time I thought, at what part is he, are you going to write? Are you going to write your bar? Like, when are you going to, are you going to write in the booth? He went in the booth, chucked on the headphones, and he said, Re hit record. And he started humming over the beat. And within about three or, three, or five, three or four minutes, he had the chorus. And he hadn't even written it down. And then he started vocaling the chorus, lead by lead. Then he done the harmonies. Then he done the ad libs. And then he said, yo, load me up for the bridge. Done the bridge. And... It took about 15 to 20 minutes for him to vocal a, br a bridge and a hook. And I was like, wow. I was shocked because at the time, I used to write my lyrics. I used to write a lot of my songs on pen, pen and paper. Since meeting him that day, I've stopped writing. Meaning I chuck on the headphones um, and I just vocal. I just do what he done and I just like, I just vocal. I, I record, I do line by line, two lines, three lines. And that way, and when he come out, anyway, back to say, when he came out, he goes... I think I said to him, do you not write? He goes, nah, man, all, all um, uh, straight from the soul or something like that. And i never forget that moment. It resonated with me because I just feel like, wow. And, and, I, and I do that myself now. I had never seen that. I always just assumed an artist writ or wrote their song before going in the booth. But I know Jigga done it. I know Jay-Z does it and stuff and does it from the top of the dome. But to be there around someone that's, a legend, Marcus Houston, you know, and see him do that. I was impressed. Anyway, he done that and then he left and then we mixed the record, we mastered the record um, and then it went out on some compilation tapes, X, Y, Z. But my biggest lesson I got from it was um, dedication and focus to, to coming into the studio and just wanting to work, getting straight to work and also not writing records, just doing it straight from the soul, like he said. And I myself... I do that and now I'm able to vocal tracks, a full song I'm able to vocal in about 45 minutes to an hour, 45 minutes to an hour um, and if you follow me on fiverr.com and you, you're a customer of mine or you bought anything from the website or like a vocal or whatever and you, I always get back, wow you vocaled that quick and in my head I think thanks Marcus, <laughs> I think thanks Mark, Marcus Houston because you taught me that, you know, you taught me it's okay to, to just give it from the soul give it from the soul so that's my lesson with Marcus Houston never met him since then didn't even manage to grab a picture as I said he came through flew in and he flew out he's there for about an hour um I think he was heading over to France or whatever he's doing a European tour um but ever since then it's always stuck with me so 
that's my experience. Um, I've worked with a few other big artists as well in the past, so I'll talk about those experiences in the um, in the next video. But yeah, that's my experience with Marcus Houston. I'll see you in the next video.